I thought it was a pretty well played game, actually. Um, Ramage came out through a lot of strikes and, you know, got out of a little jam early. And then, uh, you know, when he gave up the two runs, it happened so fast. He gets two quick outs, I think, on maybe three or four pitches, and then he hits the batter. Then he gets a single up the middle. You know, I think a pitch or two later, I think first pitch, they go down the opposite field down the line. All of a sudden, it's four to two, and we're kind of thinking, wow, you know, we, we've been leaving some runners on base, and this might come back to get us. But, uh, you know, Costio, Monk, uh, and Morris came in and, and did a pretty nice job of finishing that game up for us. And, uh, you know, hitting tonight, was it's tough when the wind's howling in like it was. And, uh, you know, Wallace driving one out of the park early. That's a pretty big swing for us to give us a lead. But, you know, those were going to be few and far between with the way the wind was blowing. So you had to take advantage of some walks, try to string a couple of hits together or, uh, you know, something to score tonight. And, uh, you know, it, 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 was, it was a good win for us. Bob? Um, hey, Dave, how would you feel like Ramage pitched overall? Because he obviously, you know, he struggled there at the end, but he, he, like you say, he pitched out of trouble in the first, and then he seemed to, you know, be pretty good from then on. He had a he, he was fighting his fastball well, which he hasn't done that a lot this year. Uh, and he had a really good curveball. The pitch that's usually really good for him is the slider, and he couldn't command it. Uh, he did throw a few change-ups. Um, but, uh, you know, overall, I thought he did a, a good job. You know, we wanted him to get through that. We were hoping he could give us five innings, and – if he would have got a quick out there and they end up getting, you know, hit by pitch and a couple hits in a row, if he would have just got a quick out there, he probably was going to get to go back out for the sixth. Uh, and that all changed real quick. But, but overall, he, he did a nice job for us. I don't know if you remember this two years ago, he gave up the grand slam to, uh, I think it was TJ Alexander. Um, did he, I mean, do you, do you think tonight was good for him to get a little payback? And I think Opitz and Franklin and Nesbitt and somebody else all played in that game too. Did you think this game meant a little extra to those guys? Honestly, I, I really don't think that we made a big deal about it at all. We just felt like it was another game. And I haven't said one thing about that game and haven't talked about Little Rock being an in-state school. I never brought it up one time, uh, you know, talking to the team. Just, we just, I just told them the next two days we need to get better. We need to keep getting better. We haven't been able to practice, you know, because we have games. And then we're going to have a live practice Thursday night down at, down at Old Miss. And, uh, you know, I said, if you like baseball, you're going to like the next couple of weeks because we play 10 games the next two weeks. So um, I, I, didn't, I didn't feel like there was any extra, you know, I don't know the word I'm looking for, incentive to go out and win tonight. It was just let's play good and let's try to win the ball game. Thanks. Much. Dave, you asked for it over the weekend, but how nice was it to finally get some early runs tonight? Yeah, it was nice. You know, we got one in the first and a couple there in the second. I think one in the third, we got a four-run lead. And we were cruising for a while. It was looking good. We had a chance to get a fifth and a sixth, and we never got it. A chance to get a big hit here or there. And, uh, you know, Little Rock just they hung in there with us and, uh, but it was good to get out and get that lead. Uh, like you said, it had been a while. And how did you think your bullpen did tonight with Kostu, Monk, and, and Morris? Kostu did a great job. He came in, and I think he got him a strikeout. And, uh, you know, we, did, we just were trying to obviously only use certain guys because we got to have them available for Friday. So, you know, I guess he got a strikeout, and then he got another inning. We didn't – we could have sent him back out, but we figured they – he just got us, I don't know, four outs on 11 pitches. And uh, that's good. We'll, uh, we'll move to the next guy. And then Monk had really good stuff. Um, you know, he held him down for a couple innings, and I think he had one walk, but uh, held him hitless and, you know, did a really nice job. And obviously we could have sent him back, sent him back out, but we need to save him. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that was kind of the game plan. And then, you know, Morris, the ninth, I felt like that his stuff was really good. And he had a really good breaking ball, but he needed to get ahead in the count. So we, you know, we felt better about throwing it because we were, it was more about don't walk them, you know, make them earn everything they get. And he ended up throwing 19 pitches to get three outs, but he also got two outs on one pitch. So, you know, full counts and 
just uh, just too many pitches, but his stuff was good. Nate. Nate, come back to us. I think you're still muted there. Yes, muted. Wait a minute. There we go. Finally. Um, with Caden Wallace, just how so far does he compare with some of the better freshmen you've had? Well, he's right there with him. I mean, he's having a better freshman year than some of the guys. When you think about Ben Attendi, he, he was banged up a little bit, but you know, he he had a, he had an okay freshman year, a great sophomore year, and think about you know some of the guys that are from way back that, that you know that maybe physically are the same, like maybe a Danny Hamblin or something, and that's going way back. But Danny played it pretty much every day as a freshman, and you know, Caden Caden's doing every every bit of what what Danny did, and and a few others, you know, we've we talk about Heston Kerstad and those type of guys because he's a, you know, Cade's a bigger kid and hit for some power. And he's been a, he's been good. You know, he started out slow. The batting average didn't let it bother him. He still put it, you know, was having good at bats. And I think he was in about 170. We took him from seven or eight hole, moving up to four hole, and he's hit ever since. So uh, just a good player. He knows strikes on a little bit. You know, obviously he can hit the fastball, but he also can hit that off-speed pitch, and that's that's the difference. Has he played better outfield than you thought he would as far as, you know, having to adjust a new position? Yeah, yeah I mean, that's a good question. Um, he's a really good athlete. He can run. He can really run. He can throw. Um, he works hard, and he wanted to play. I guess to answer your question, probably a little bit better than I thought. I mean, but I've seen him get better and better and better real fast. I mean, he – he jumped on it at the end of fall baseball when we talk, talked to him about it, worked out with outfield a little bit after that, and then came back after the holidays and, you know, just pretty much spent 95% of his time with the outfielders. And he just – he got better quick. But, uh, yeah, I would say he, he, he's become a better defender a lot sooner than I thought he would. Thanks. Bob, we'll come back around to you. Hey, Dave, do you know who your starting pitcher is going to be tomorrow and are there certain guys you, you want to throw tomorrow? Yeah, we'll, we'll start we'll, – we'll start Caleb Bolden tomorrow. Are, are there, like, other guys that, you know, I, I need to get these guys in type deal or – Well, if they didn't pitch tonight, they got a good chance of pitching tomorrow. I think we've got about, I don't know, eight or nine guys that, that, we, that we could pitch tomorrow. Um, it's going to be a windy day, and the wind's going to blow the other direction, so it could get a little crazy tomorrow. And, and then what did you see on Wallace's home run? What, what did he hit out there? You know, I'm not sure exactly what pitch it was. I'm going to go back and look at it. I just knew when he hit it, I was kind of like a little bit amazed that it fought through that wind. Um, he kind of he hit it so hard it was kind of hooking, and the, and the, and the wind didn't hurt it quite as much uh, because the wind was pushing it that way. I mean, the wind knocked it down a little bit. It just couldn't get it, get it down. I didn't know if it was going to get out when he hit it because of the wind, but I uh, just put a really good swing on that, on that pitch. I'm thinking it was a fastball, though. Okay, th thanks, Dave. Much anything else? Yeah, what are you looking for out of Bolden tomorrow? You know, we need him. We need him to have a good outing. We need him to get going. Um, we need him to pitch like he can. And uh, if, if he does that, that, that's what I want out of him. You know, it's really not about saying, hey, give us four or five innings. It's whatever innings you give us, we just need to see your stuff. And uh, I, I'm hoping that as the whole team is, that he'll, he'll go out and have a good outing tomorrow. And you think you might get a few young guys in the lineup tomorrow? Oh, I'll mix in a few guys. Um, but obviously, we're going to – you know, there's some, there's some of our guys that have been everyday starters that they, need to, they need, to, need to get it going a little bit. I just think they need some more bats. You'll see a different catcher. You may see, you know, a different DH. I don't know. You know, there will be a few guys mixed in. Anything else? All right. Now we'll do it. Thanks, Go. Thanks.